Hello, Elle here, and welcome back to Champagne Twist. Please excuse my voice as I'm suffering from a cough at the moment, but in this video I will be sharing some of my purchases I made at the Knitting and Stitching Show 2018 held at Exaltra Palace, as well as my sewing plans for the next few weeks. Beginning with diligent hand fabrics, I was very impressed with the range on offer and made a couple of purchases. The floral prints, which I plan to make a shift dress with a plain yoke and hem. I only purchased two yards, I wish I bought three, but I want something to showcase this beautiful print and colours. I also purchased this blue and white boutique star fabric, which is earmarked for beachwear, a sarong and tank top. Again, my aim is to showcase this wonderful print. Next, I purchased three meters of this navy blue cotton rib-like material from Simply Fabrics. It caught my eye and I originally thought it would make a nice pair of lightweight trousers. But then, I saw the Duchess of Sussex wearing this wonderful Roxana dress and changed my mind. Instead, I'm going to hack a Vogue pattern number V9075 to recreate a similar design. I also spotted this large print at the stall. Unfortunately, I noticed there was a design flaw, so I was very kindly given a discount. I am plan to cut around the printing floors to make a kimono. I may have to team with a, some other plain navy cotton fabric to make the hem, collar and cuffs, but it should be an exciting project nonetheless. I spent a fair amount at Euro Japan Links purchasing two half metre dragonfly prints, bias binding, which at 250 per metre was quite pricey, but the quality is pretty much up there. I shall be using these very sparingly for very special Christmas projects. Either way, all the relevant information regarding these purchases are added in the description box below. This was the last of two metres of the autumnal toned cotton print which I plan to make either into a pair of shorts or a wrap skirt. As a lover of bags I couldn't resist this little number. The stall had actually sold out of this popular make so I ordered it and thanks to a great service I had the pack in my hands in only four days and a new bag that very same afternoon. A review of the bag kit will be in a later video, hopefully by the end of the week if my voice holds up. I also brought an embroidery book after watching a demonstration by one of the authors, Leslie Turpin Delport. I'm guessing into this genre and was very impressed with the photo transfer design presentation and the wide scope of the techniques this medium provides. I shall publish a more in-depth review of the book at a later date. So far, it looks very promising. Create and Craft must have handed out hundreds if not thousands of these free cotton bags for which I am and the environment are most grateful. It would be great if the textile industry as a whole would convert from plastic to fabric bags. They are fab stocking fillers if nothing else for peeps who, like me, like fabric shopping. I parted with a few more pound notes at Stoff & Still, purchasing bag making accessories and some quilted fabric. I plan to make a large tote and maxing case with one of the packs, and with the other two packs of black quilting fabric, I plan to make a sleeveless jacket as a gift. With the faux suede, I also hope to be making several Christmas gifts, which may include more bags and cases. <laughs> the glow print canvas fabric from Material Magic is earmarked for the travel accessories, such as shades, case, travel bags, things like that. I also grabbed three meters of this mid blue cotton mix fabric for some trousers. The pattern for this is a tried and tested Vogue 8836 UC. 
I've already cut out the fabric and fingers crossed we'll have a new pair of trousers by weekend. The final item was a pack of one and a half meter in total of samples from House of Alistair. Mainly in shades of blue, I've already made a newspaper bag for my dad who requested one ages ago. A lovely large soft cotton pocket square which will be a great Christmas stocking filler gift and plan to use the other pieces for lining bags and accessories. At £16 for Savile Row fabric, I would say that this was an absolute bargain for luxury fabric. There are plenty more videos coming up soon so please stay tuned. If you like this video, please click thumbs up and leave a comment and I will reply back. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye!